What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna search usernames for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna search usernames for our Twitter clone app. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we searched for meeps. We have this little section here. We can search for any meep here. There you go. In this video, we want to create another search function that allows us to search usernames. So if we want to look up Bob, see if Bob has an account, we need a search function for that. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So the first thing we need is a URL. So we're going to create a new page for our search function. So I'm just going to copy the one that we did in the last video. And I'm going to paste it in again. But instead of search, let's have this say search underscore user. And instead of use.search, use.search underscore user, and we'll name this guy search underscore user. So all right, that looks good. Now we need a view for this, go ahead and save this page and we need a template. So I'm gonna come over here to templates, right click new file, and I'm gonna go file save as and let's call this search underscore user dot HTML. And I'm just going to open up for now our other search page that we did in the last video, copy all of this stuff and paste it in. Up here, I'm going to have this say search users. And then the button will be search users. And we're going to play around with this in a minute, but I'll just leave all this for now. Um, actually, let's get rid of all this for meep and search stuff because this is all going to be completely different. Yeah, so let's just get rid of all of that. And start fresh here. So all right, that looks good. Go ahead and save that. Now let's head over to our views.py file. And let's head down to the bottom. And I'm just going to copy everything that we did in the last video, we're going to obviously have to tweak this. But for now, that'll work. And we want to call this search underscore user. And we're going to point this to search underscore user dot HTML and search underscore user dot HTML. Okay. That's good for now. Now we also need to create a link to this in our nav bar. So let's head over to our nav bar. And let's find that search thing. And what I would like to do is have a little drop down box. So instead of just having one link for search, I want a drop down box that will allow us to choose whether we want to search for meeps or search for users. So let's head over to get bootstrap real quick. And let's click on docs. And come down here to nav bar. There we go. And this is the nav bar that we're using. And you can see it has a drop down, we just need to kind of copy the code, we deleted it earlier. So here it says drop down menu drop down a okay, so I think it looks like that. That's probably all of it there. So go ahead and copy this. Now let's head back over to our code. And we're just going to paste all this in underneath that search thing, save this head back over to the website and just see if we got that right. All right, so we got a drop down thing and some things next to the search thing. All right, so that looks good. So now let's fiddle with that. So instead of it saying drop down, let's have it say search. And let's see right here, there's a little divider bar, we don't need that. And we don't need this last li because we've only got two items here. So the first thing let's have this say search meeps. And then let's have the other one say search uh, let's say users. So for the search meeps one, we could just copy this URL from the last video, paste that right in there. And then for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. But instead of it saying pointing at search, I'm going to have a point to search underscore user. Okay, so now I think we can get rid of this old search link from the last video. Let's clean this up a little bit. Something like that. All right, looks good. Let's come back over here, hit reload, see if that worked. So if we click on this, we have search meeps and search users. Let's click on that it goes to the search user page. That looks good. If we click on this, it goes to the search meeps page. And I can search for a meep and that works. And if I search for a user, nothing happens yet. So okay, 
looking good. We've got the infrastructure in place. Now we just need to tinker with our view a little bit. And let's come down here to our search user. And in the last video, we created a MEEP object filter. And in this video, we're not searching for MEEPs. Actually, let's head over to our model real quick. You might be kind of inclined to search for profile because our profile is the profile, it has all the profile information. But remember, our profile has a one to one field that hooks up our user model with the Django authentication system that we did many videos ago. So we're not actually searching profile, we're searching the user model, right? And the user model has our username because the profile you'll see it has a link to the user, which has the username, but the profile model itself just has this follows, date modified, profile image, profile bio, uh, social media stuff. There is no actual username in the profile model. It's all in the user model that comes with the Django authentication system. So instead of querying the profile model, we need to query the user model. A long winded way of just saying that. So let's head over here and we wanna search the user model and now come up to the top here and just make sure that you've imported that. So here we have from Django Katrim auth models, import user. So we've got our user model. We've also got our profile model and our meet model up here. But like I said, we're not gonna be using those, we're gonna be using the user model. So, all right, that's already been imported, we're good there, just make sure that's there. And let's come back down here. And what we want is not the body to contain, we want the username to contain. Now this will return a bunch of different things. If there's only one user, it'll return one user. If there's 10 users that have a username containing whatever we typed in, you know, uh, for instance, you know, if one user's name is Bob and another user's name is Bob 41 and a third user's name is Bobby, those will all get returned if we search for Bob, right? So that will, you know, if it contains it, it'll return that. This is just the search that's getting posted from the web forum. We did all that in the last video. If you didn't see that, go back and check the playlist because I'm just obviously copying and pasting this stuff. So, okay, this looks good. Now we've got searched and we're going to return that here. All right, so I think that'll work. Now, let's head back over to our search underscore user. And down here it says you searched for and it returns that, but that's all we have. Now we need to actually return the users. How do we do that? Well, if you remember, we've got this profile list that returns users. So it's nicely formatted. It's got the picture if the person has it. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste that stuff. So that was profile list.html. And here we can say if profiles, and then for profile and profiles, we just want to copy all of this. Now, obviously we don't have profiles, but we'll tweak that in just a second here. So let's head back over here and let's just paste this in. So again, this is not gonna be profiles. This is gonna be searched, right? Because here, we're setting that equal to searched and we're passing that into our context dictionary right there. So we need to come through here. And first of all, let's just, you know, if it returned a result at all, we need to check for that. If not, let's come down here and let's say else, sorry, no users exist, or let's say no usernames containing, and let's say search, exist, please try again, dot, 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 right? So that search is from up here. So that should work fine. Or you know what, no usernames containing that exists. Let's just make it easy. All right, so, okay. Now come up here, so we're saying if searched, so let's say for searched in searched, or we could say for result in searched. And now we need to come through here and this is all referencing the profile model. And remember, we're not doing the profile model, we're doing, we're doing the user model. So this is gonna be a result dot for all of these that have profile in them. So we're gonna have to come through here line by line and put a result dot profile. And let's see, it's a little tedious result.profile and uh, da, 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 that looks fine there. Here, this is gonna be result.profile and here again, 
result.profile there, and also right, let's see, there, and finally right there. So, okay, a little sloppy, but eh, I think that'll work. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website, and give this thing a spin, make sure we're in our search user, <laughs> and it says right off the bat, sorry, no usernames containing that exist. Please try again. Uh, we might want to fix that. We'll look at that in just a second. But for now, let's search for admin and it returns admin's profile. Uh, let's search for Bob. We get Bob and we get Bobby. Uh, that seems to work. Uh, let's see, Codemy. There's a couple of Codemys, Codemy and Codemy2. All right, so that looks like it works. The only problem is when we just first go to the page, it says, sorry, no usernames containing that exist. Please try again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to take that out. We'll fiddle with it later. Hit reload here. If we go like that, you search for this and then you now there's nothing else underneath it. Ah, that's not great. We'll tinker with that maybe in the next video. But for now, I think that's fine and works pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, be a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.